I'm just showing you um, what the government of the Bahamas has meant to the frontline workers. Um, September 1st, 2021 will be two years. And the people that collect the revenue for the company, for the country, has been forgotten. Uh, they're still in a borrowed trailer. Thank God for cup, tropical shopping, tropical shipping. Right there, two years, a trailer. The trailer is not even mounted. The trailer is on the ground. And here is a borrowed generator, uh, all from tropical. Thank God for tropical. If the customs officers want to use the bathroom, uh, they have nowhere to go. Uh, they already burned up a couple generators trying to keep power into that building. But the Bahamas government is going against its own mandate, uh, saying that you have to uh, social distance. You know, I want to take a shot inside the trailer, but they, when they see me coming, all hands are on deck because they don't want me to take that video. Although the video would be in defense for them, right before the hurricane, this same pod has generated over $160 million. And boy, if we could get just that one year money, it's just one year money that Abaco produced and sent into Nassau. That is why it's so vexing for Abaconians to see what we have done and the government has forgotten us. But you could see the huge amount of supplies, which noticeably so, because everything has to be replaced. But the government hasn't put their own people as priority. They're still in a trailer. Um, if the ladies or the guys want to use the bathroom, if they don't go behind a trailer, God forbid they come in short, they have to run home. There's no bathrooms. Over two years for your front line workers are still in dire street. Uh, this is the huge amount of material. I don't know how customs um, could sift through all of this stuff with what little they have to work with and the condition that they're placed under. Um, I wouldn't treat a pot cake like this. And you can see that this place is vast, as uh, my favorite ship is in the Duke of Topsail is in. And there's no facilities for customs to do their job properly. That's the Duke. We got Seacall here that has done a great job into bringing materials to the more needed Abaconians. This place is like a zoo. You got to really know your stuff to work out here because everything is all kabungle up. A lot of much needed blocks here. All I'm doing is bringing the story to you. There is customs and custom has to be by this uh, makeshift, uh, um, I don't know what that they call, call they got there that they have to be under um, to check there and to do their jobs, but their condition is not human condition. When they have to be out in the elements like this and trying to do their job. That is what the government of the Bahamas think of our customs officer. As everything over here is a mess. It ought not be this way if we had a caring government. But unfortunately, um, it is what it is. You have an opportunity to change it forthwith. This is what we call an unsafe Port here in Abaco. Just show you how huge all the parking. Just show you all the people that has come back to Abaco um, by all these cars. Each one of these cars represent a waker on Baker's Bay that hires about 500 people a day. And this is the congestion on the uh, domestic side. And nobody even trying to pick up the. Uh, 
all the uh, dirt here. It could be a lot cleaner than this. And um, all I'm trying to do is make this place uh, a little better. I still have that passion. You see all these vehicles that are parked in, inside the domestic area. There's nowhere to park on the outside. Not so many people go to work here every day, but the place can be cleaned up just a little bit. Look at all the uh, cars on the backdrop and the arches parking. Um, they could charge parking over there and make a, make a million, but they can't, they can't see that vision. There's somebody starting to fix up this old building that used to be uh, the customs office. And you can see all the pallets that amount to garbage and nobody seems to want to move that garbage off the dock. This is all a huge business here. As I try to bring some attention to what Abaco don't have to be like. This is spray day at the dock down here, boy. This is chaotic here. This is really crazy down here. I should try to get your freight here off this dock. I can make you all famous. I don't want you all to be on camera. Right. <laughs> look, look. Put on that mask. This the, uh, this the owner of the dock right here. There's another waker right here. And boy, is this chaotic down here. This is like being in a wasp nest. This is a wasp nest down here. Right inside there used to be a huge building. As you can see, there's no building since the hurricane. No, even, not even an attempt to construct a building to keep your goods and the people out of the elements. Show you the beauty, the beauty of the Mashaba Harbor after hurricane is a total contrast from right there and you come ashore and this is what you got right here total chaos and you move away from the total chaos that the government is helping to create by not providing a safe space look at the beauty of Abaco one of the biggest more secure harbor in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and the government is still offshore and they have still forgotten Abaco. I repeat that Abaco Harbor, Marshaba Harbor is one of the most complete, most complete secured harbor, safe harbor in the entire Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And the government has forgotten us. Totally, total neglect of Abaco. When you can see there's no place to put your goods. If the rain were to come, God forbid if the rain were to come, uh, what you would have here. And when the tourists come aboard, come ashore to collect their goods like this boat, all they can say is, wow, wow total unnecessary chaos in Apico. Right here is the FNM government at its best. It's right here. i could show you who they are. Uh, you gotta beg them for monies to clean up. The one dock, you can't build a building uh, but you want to run a country. There is um, the old customs building. Somebody is trying to restore this. Um, maybe the government will be smart enough to rent this from the uh, occupants, the owners. And this is the freight boat getting ready to bring more, much needed supply 
to Hopetown and Manawa. These are the boats that they used to use for the troops in the war. And they're still alive. They brought them all the way to Manawa. And um, as I do my shot here of the trees that will be replaced from Hurricane Dorian. All of this is much needed. Everything has to be replaced on the keys. That salt water kill everything. As you can see, uh, they're ready, almost filled to capacity um, to take freight. And the backdrop is the Haitian sloop that the government can't figure how to get off the shoreline of Abaco. It's one of these Kai cares. As I show you the chaos uh, after freight day and the garbage. You got just as much garbage on this dock as freight. Uh, there's the new dock keeper there. And uh, nobody can get nothing done. It's crazy. It's crazy that the Minister of Foreign Affairs, my MP, has moved uh, somebody from the dock that supported him and brought somebody here that never voted for him. Um, we would have thought that something more positive would have happened, but nothing has happened positive since then. As the uh, Member of Parliament for North Abaco keeps shuffling managers uh, for this dock, you would have think that something positive would have happened, but the same garbage here, uh, on the domestic side, they still have to hustle. If the rain comes, your goods is destroyed. On the custom end, custom is still in a buried tropical trailer with a tropical generator. The government of the Bahamas haven't given customs power, nor less bathroom. So nothing must have changed because they have forgotten that Abaco supplied 160 million to the government right from this dock and not a dollar has been spent not even to pick up the trash since Hurricane Doreen. It's one of these I care uh, video because I do care. That's why I'm spending this quality time letting the world know that the FNM government has the brains of a jellyfish. Kai cares, that's why I'm here.